Well, first of all, my grandfather walked on the harbour wall. He was a crane driver after the railway line was finished. And then my dad worked on the ship. He was on the St. Andrew and I think the St. David. I'm not too sure about that. Then my brother worked on the ship and I met my husband on the ship. Going over from, I don't know whether you met Marie or not, that's Margaret's other daughter. So I was going to her christening when I met my future husband on the ship. <laughs> both staff from both sides, they all got on very well together. They all kind of in married, maybe the girls, boys from Ross Lair married, ladies from Fishguard and ladies from Fishguard married, boys from Ross Lair. That there was great camaraderie between the, the two ports, you know. It was very, very nice and uh, they were very caring people. And actually, I worked on the ferry myself. I worked to work um, in the tourist board, Wexford Tourist Board, and I done a relief there for a fortnight. At that time, there was a tourist office on the ferry uh, for the summer months. I don't think there is one there now, but there, there, uh, there used to be one. We were all done up in uniforms, little green hats and all. <laughs> and um, it was... It was lovely, it was really nice now. We had our own little office and we would just give information to the passengers about where to go visit in Ireland. And uh, we weren't allowed to book accommodation, but we could uh, show them a list of it, you know, and they could pick their own then. So, but it was, it was a lovely experience. It was like being on holiday, actually. It was a different kind of work <laughs> towards being in the office in Wexford. <laughs> yeah.